Hey everyone, it's me, Lisa, from oshiblogs.com. Today I want to show you really quickly just how easy it is to set up a custom email address using SiteGround. I know a lot of people are using SiteGround right now, um, so I thought I would just demonstrate this really quickly because it, it literally takes like two minutes to set up once you know what you're doing. So if you already have your SiteGround hosting, you're going to need to go into your account and into cPanel. This is cPanel here. And you're going to scroll down to mail and then email accounts. Go ahead and click on email accounts. And from this screen, you will be able to set up your new email account. So I typically do my first name at, at whatever the site is, but I know a lot of people use like, hello, uh, which is just fine too. So this email address I'm setting up, the uh, username is gonna be hello at blogresourcelist.com. And again, that can be absolutely anything. And then you are going to need to set up your email password. So once you have your password and you've confirmed your password, uh, you don't need to worry about the mailbox quota. All you need to do is hit create account. And just like that, you can see down here, I have created hello at blogresourcelist.com. That's literally all there is to it if you just want to set up a new email address. Uh, but one thing, you can't really do too much with this right here. Um, so we're going to set it up via Gmail. But before we get to that point, another option is that you can access your new email address via webmail. Webmail looks just like it did when I was in college. Uh, so I really don't recommend using webmail because it's just a little goofy. Um, I'll show you just what Horde looks like here really quickly. Uh, it's pretty old fashioned. Um, so yeah, I don't really recommend using it, but you can see your email address up there. So we're going to go back to cPanel and we've got our email address here and we're going to go to cPanel home again. From here, we are going to go down to email and we're going to go to forwarders. What this does is it allows you to enter an email address that you would like to use to access your new custom website email, if that makes sense. Because if you don't want to go to webmail, you need to have a way to access those emails. So what I typically do is send them to, I check all of my email through Gmail. So I'm going to click here to add a forwarder and address to, a for, to forward is hello at blogresourcelist.com. And then I'm going to forward this to my email address here, Lisa at oshiblogs.com. Then I'm gonna click the Add Forwarder button. And that's it. Now all email that is sent to hello at blogresourcelist.com is going to forward to lisa at oshiblogs.com. That's pretty awesome. So that is one half of the equation, but if you're going to check your email in one account, chances are you are also going to want to be able to send email in that account as well. Sending email is a tiny bit more complicated, but it's not too bad at all. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to our email accounts here. And here's hello at blogresourcelist.com. We're gonna go to more, and we're gonna go to configure email client. Like I said, I'm gonna show you how to do this for Gmail, which is my preferred method. 
But if you don't use Gmail, let's say you use Windows Live Mail or Outlook, you can come in here and find the instructions for how to set that up as well. Um, but because we're going to use Gmail, we're going to go down here to Manual Settings, and we're going to look at this gray box, which is the Secure Settings. So that's what we're going to want to use. What you're going to want to do now is go over to your Gmail account, go to the uh, settings here, and you're going to want to, uh, the gear, you're going to want to go to settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to go to accounts and import, and then down here to send mail as. I've already set up a few, but you just click on add another email address. Uh, here you would want to enter your name, uh, how you plan on sending your emails, and then the email address that you're going to use. So mine is lisa at blogresourcelist.com, and we're going to keep that uh, treat as an alias box there. The next step, oh, sorry, I already set that one up. We're going to do hello at blogresourcelist.com. So the next step here is we need to configure this information. Now this might look a little confusing, but I promise you it's not that bad at all. We're just going to go back to our cPanel here. And remember, we need the, this information here. So we're going to open that back up, drag it over here. So our server that we're going to use, the outgoing and incoming server are the same, so that's pretty easy. But you're going to want to enter that in here. So it's mine is secureus146.sgcpanel.com. The port here is 465, because remember this is so we can send emails, so we're using the outgoing server data. Now the username here again is going to be hello at blogresourcelist.com and then the password is the password that you had already set up. The secured connection using SSL you're going to use, leave that alone and then you're going to click on add account. It's checking credentials and if all went well you're going to get this box here which says confirm verification and add your email address. They are going to send you an email to hello at blogresourcelist.com or whatever your email address is and then all you have to do is click the link in the confirmation email and you will be all set. Because we already set up the forwarder that email is going to get sent to your Gmail email address and then as soon as you confirm you will also be able to send emails as your new custom email that you just set up for your blog. Uh, that is literally all you need to do to have a custom email address. Again I'm using SiteGround for this but most servers that use that use cPanel are going to be exactly the same. It's super easy to set up. You don't need to pay money to Google or anything like that to be able to send emails. This is literally all you need to do to receive your emails, read them, and then send other emails. So hopefully this will help you get your own custom emails up and running. If you have any questions, please leave them below.